Okay, welcome again guys. This is Ivan from BernieBets.com uh, Today I'm gonna do a tutorial and we're gonna use uh, three modules today. We're gonna use one that we saw before the RTC ter uh, The DS1307 RTC clock the real-time clock that we used in uh, other tutorials And we're gonna use today. We're gonna use this new one, which is the IR avoidance sensor and basically all this does this guy sends out light and when something crosses it, the light reflects and gets picked up by the receiver. And then the pin, it only uses one digital pin, goes high or low, depending on what's happening. Uh, these have a little potentiometer on board that you can adjust the sensitivity of it. So we're going to take the high or low pin event of this sensor to actually get the time and date from the RTC and then put it on this module, which is an SPI bus micro SD card module. So is the SD card we're going to use. So when something breaks that beam or gets detected, it's going to take the time and write it on the SD card. Uh, you know, this is kind of like a little intruder uh, log uh, system. You could put this next to your door and when somebody opens the door, it will break that beam and then this event will be logged on the SD card. But you could use it for multiple things. A lot of people use these for uh, like robot avoidance. So when it gets near a wall, it turns and it goes ahead. So we're connecting all these to our Uno. So this is an I2C device. So we're gonna plug it into the I2C pins on the Uno, which is A4 and A5. This guy is an SPI bus device. So we're gonna connect those to the SPI pins on the, on the UNO, which are 13, 12, 11, and 10. And the little sensor only has one pin, so basically any digital will do. We're connecting it to the pin two on our UNO. So we're gonna cut here, we're gonna take a look at the code. First thing we need to make sure is that our RTC time and date are correct. So we're gonna use the library that we used before, and it comes with a little sketch that's called, I believe, set time, that will take the time from our computer and put it in there. So we just gotta make sure that this is correct. And after that, we'll look at the main code and how we're gonna detect and write the information on the card. So let's go take a look and we'll be right back to look at the results. Okay, so like we said, we're gonna use a couple libraries for this tutorial. So let's take a look at them. You can download these libraries on our website, burningbits.com slash tutorial. You'll find this tutorial with the link uh, so basically, there's two of them that are already included with the Arduino IDE library. The SD one is for the uh, micro SD card. Uh, we have the wire, which is also included. And the one you'll need to download is time and the DS RTC for our clock module. So just uh, extract those to your Arduino library folder and restart your IDE software and you're good to go. So we need to make sure that the time is set on our RTC module. So we're going to open this in the library. We have the set time test. I already did that. So I'm going to go ahead. We don't need to change anything. Just make sure that our UNO is connected. We're going to upload that code. And once it's done, we're going to open the serial monitor right here. And we're getting configured time from our computer so we're good to go here and if you want to double make sure you can always open the example DSTC read test and this basically will get the time from the RTC so let's just do it really quick upload that code let's wait for it then open the serial monitor and there you go it's getting the time so once this is done you know that the time is correct on the RTC we're gonna go take a look at the main code to use our IR obstacle avoidance sensor and log the time and date to the micro SD. So let's go take a look at that. All right, so we're in the main code that we're gonna use. So we're gonna start at the top. We're including four libraries. SD and wire are already included with the Arduino install. So you don't need to download these. SD is for the SD card and the wire is for the I2C bus communication. Uh, time is for time manipulation and DS1307 is for our little real-time clock. You can find links on our website to download these both these libraries. Now we're going to define the IR pin, meaning the sensor is connected to pin 2 on our UNO. Then we're going to put the time and date into this buffer so we can format the date 
the, di the time and date string before we write it to the card. Then we're using the four digit year, like we did in the last video. And here's our main setup. Main setup is using the serial monitor. We're only using it for testing purposes so you guys can see what's happening. And we set our pin mode IR pin to an input. And we set the pin mode 10 to an output for the SD card. And we check if the card is present, make sure the card is inserted, inserted into the module. Now here's our main loop. We're calling the time and we're checking if digital read IR pin goes to low, basically something is in front of it, IR detected. We're gonna read the time and date. Then we're gonna format the year. So year for digit equals T dot year. The TM dot year will give us a result of 45 because it gives, it, a, it gives you the number of year elapsed since 1970. So to get the full year, we're doing 45 plus 1970 will give us 2015. So, and we're putting that in here. And then we're using the sprintf again to format the information we're gonna put into the time date buffer. So we're writing all this string here. And basically we're saying, okay, time. And this part here says, put a le leading zero in front of TM hour. So this will be replaced with TM hour, column, TM minutes will be this guy here. It will be TM seconds. And we do the same thing for date. So this will be day, month, year. And we're putting a little message. So this string will be written on the micro SD card. Now, after we get, we formatted this, we're gonna open the file, which is called intruder.txt on our micro SD. We check if the file exists. If the file exists, we're printing putting on the card in the file, the time and date buffer. Then we close the file and on our serial monitor, we're just gonna print it to make sure everything's okay. Else, meaning the file is not there, we have an error, error opening intruder.txt and it gets out. Now here, the while loop is because if you put your hand in front of that sensor and you leave it there, the pin will always be low. If we didn't put this here, it would just keep looping in there and writing to the card, low, low, low. So the while loop, while digital read hour pin equals low, wait. So basically this will be stuck in here until this pin becomes high again. So nothing's happening. And when it gets out, we put a delay of about 100 microsecond to give time for the IR to reset from low to high, and then it goes back up and it does it again. So there you go, that's the way this works. So we're gonna upload that to our Uno, and we're gonna go back to our breadboard and look at the results. So let's go take a look. Okay, so we're back to our breadboard. We uploaded the code that we just saw to the Uno. I already plugged it in, so everything is ready to go. The SD card is installed into the micro SD card module. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pass in front of our sensor, and we should see something happening on the serial monitor. There we go, we logged that information. I'm gonna go back, logged another one. What I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna stop in front it logged it, but nothing's happening because we're in the while loop. Now I'm going to take it off, and it didn't log anything. And back and forth. There we go. Four, five, six. So there you go. That's an easy way to use one of these guys. Log the information there. Use the RTC clock to get the time and date. You know, uh, these tutorials are basically done so you guys can get going, you know, to connect them. And after that, you start experimenting with your own code, making it more complicated. Uh, you know, that's, that's uh, the whole point. That's why we do these uh, tutorials. So once again, you can go to brainybest.com to find the schematics, libraries that we used, the code if you want to download it. And also, if you want to uh, be informed when we post new videos, you can always subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, like I always say, we try to do one or two a week. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed th this one and I uh, hope to catch you guys real soon. Take care.